It's where I'll be when I get home And up ahead It's a long, long road Textiles is the go-to brand for the coolest and softest Texas shirts. It is a family-owned and brand business started by two high school teachers that love to support local and the great state of Texas. A portion of their sales is donated to help scholarship graduating seniors. Tumbleweed Textiles' goal is to outfit every proud Texan with their unique hand-drawn designs. You better go check out their Texas goodies at www.shoptwt.com. Use coupon code LOCALLIVE for 20% off today. Welcome to another segment of Texas Local Live. I'm your host, Ben Martinek. To my left, Tyler Dixon. What's going on? Uh, not a lot. Nothing? Just hanging out, dude. Dude, you're hanging out. We're at yeah. the ranch. Yeah, We're I in know. Las Colinas. You it's, just told everyone pretty. on your on your Facebook page, hi. Yeah. Straight up hi. Hi, tune in. Tune in. Welcome. Greatness. Texas Local Live at the ranch in beautiful Las Colinas. Yes, Irving. thank you. See? Or you're Las, doing, you're Las doing Colinas, job. Texas. Las, Las, eh, Las. Las Lanza. We're in, in in the in the Kalinas. Okay. We're over here uh, at the ranch. Yes. And if you're not down here, you need to come on down. We got some live music kicking off about seven ish. We got interviews going on now though, and that's what's uh, most important. Tyler, I like to start off. Why music? What the hell why? got you into this business, man? Uh, I don't know, man. I could give you a bazillion cheesy answers, but no, uh, the real one. What the real one? The uh, I, I don't know, man. I mean, I just uh. I, growing up, my my all my uncles played guitar, sang, uh, some in church, some just around the campfire, hanging out kind of thing. So my mom was really like involved with all that. She could sing, and um, you know, all, always got us interested in like all the good oldies when we were kids and That's whatnot. Cool. And, That's cool. That's uh, cool. So I, uh, you know, I just liked it, and I, I could feel something with it emotionally. I felt connected with music, and uh, I wanted to do that myself and see if I could bring you know, others to feel the same way. So your family had that kind of camaraderie with that music going on. Like you said, campfire songs. That's a great for way sure. to get introduced yeah, to it yeah, for yeah. sure. So when did you pick up a guitar? When did you start writing something on your own, I guess? Uh, picked up a guitar around 13 or so, around middle school, um, you know, trying to do the whole punk rock thing. Heck yeah, man. Yeah, I had like a old, you know, it's just like a, a black uh, Washburn electric yes. guitar that I, 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 I would play around with. And uh with stickers on it? Do you have stickers on it? Oh, yeah. <laughs> stickers, spider web, uh, you know, <laughs> yeah. cords and stuff. Uh, but uh, yeah. the, um, and then I started writing songs in college. Okay. I, I never had tried the whole writing songs thing until I got to college. And, uh, you know, that's whenever I really started, like, picking out people, listening to them, going into interviews, like, like listening to interviews of them, listening to things behind the music. Yeah. And uh, that kind of got me interested in the whole writing process and whatnot and just doing that in my dorm. Very so, cool, man. Yeah. When did you uh, first put one of those bad boys on stage and you play, uh, play for somebody? Live uh, show. I don't know, man. Uh, you know, I had, like, a bunch of songs that I had written, like, over the course of, like, my college days that when I played my first gig ever, I think I probably played, like, two or three of them, but I... I definitely don't play any of those songs now. Yeah, so. ah, you could. You could bring it back full circle, man. Yeah, a classic. See what happens. Yeah, yeah. you never know. You might redo it or something. Have a yeah. different rendition of your own. It'd tune. be like a six-year-old classic. So. <laughs> that's, hey, man, that's pretty <laughs> sweet. I like it. I dig it, man. So you uh, it's had a cool, uh, little interesting background with it. You got the family getting you in and stuff like that. That's I like that. I like the uh, the the writing circle, if you will, and uh, yeah. that part of collaborating. Have you collaborated recently with your peers? Uh, you know, not really, man. I, you know, it's like I was talking to Jed before, um, you know, we started. And, you know, I mean, it's like I'm either doing music or I'm working or I'm at home spending time with, uh, you know, my, my, my wife and my kids. So, yeah. you know, it's like really other than that, I, I, I try not to, you know, get away from home yeah, you know, yeah, that yeah, much. So a lot of the cool. writing that I do is on my own. Very cool. You know? That's cool, man. We got to get someone to come over to your house and write with you, man. Yeah, <laughs> for sure. And <laughs> so I definitely have a couple of buddies that they'll come over and yeah. we'll just play around and It's just out. good to have that bounce, you know, the ideas, get it off, yeah, absolutely. off your chest. Get some other perspective is really what it's all about, right? For sure. You kids going to get into music, you know, going to... Not oh, force yeah. them, but yeah, you gotta. You know, she's only she's almost three months now, and uh, oh, okay. she's uh, like when she cries, I feel like she's, I feel like she's got some pipes that are ah. a little like 
you know, out of the ordinary. That's so I'm interesting. Like, Catch man. it, man. I've never thought about that, yeah, actually. Yeah, maybe That's she'll good. maybe she'll be able to sing pretty mm. good. Got herself a singer here. She's yeah, crying yeah. like crazy and waking up everybody. That's right. Do what? Oh, yeah. I was just told to mention this koozie here. Tumbleweed Textiles. <laughs> Takes local laugh. That wasn't awkward. <laughs> we nailed that. Those are sweet. We're, you're getting one of these. Every artist gets one of these. Oh. Tumbleweed Textiles hooks it up. That's awesome. They're awesome, yeah. Sweet. They're helping us out. They're throwing out some uh, some merch, and we're throwing down some content for you guys. Yeah. Uh, guys and cool. gals, I should say. But yeah. Yeah, you can understand point. why that's a partnership. Yeah. You know, it's, it's there. People drink beer. Beer gets cold. Hand stays warm. Koozie. Perfect. Done. My pitch man. <laughs> All right, so moving, let's move on now. Sorry for the awkward, uh, awkward. It's all good. The uh, so we were talking about your your kiddo having mm-hmm. pipes. So you know, have the family tradition maybe a little bit here. Yeah, yeah. Carrying on. That would be awesome. Where have you uh, Where have you gotten to play then? Give me some of your uh, experience maybe um, the past few years. Uh, let's see, man. I've been uh, like. Um you know, I, I stay pretty close to where anybody in this area would probably know, you know, where I'm going, where I'm playing at. I, I play in Stephenville a lot. I play, yeah. uh, you know, I like I've, Stephenville. Uh, I, I've played at uh, like the Hard Eight over there before. Okay. Uh, I got to do a fundraiser uh, a, a while back f- uh, at the Twisted J before it was as big as it is now. It was just a small room at that yeah. point. Um, and then, um, you know, I, I've played around Fort Worth a lot of the at the Freds, the Three Freds. Uh, I've gotten to play. Um, you know, at Adair's in Dallas, uh, gone Dude, east to the Forge and Ben Wheeler. Just uh, I've been just kind of all cool, stayed yeah, around yeah, in the yeah. Metroplex, man. Yeah, just North Texas area. Too. Yeah, yeah. Awesome, absolutely. man. I know you got your so you get the family dynamic going on, but do you have some uh, inkling of branching out of that area, or are you kind of comfortable around here? And you know, I mean, there's a huge network. I'm not knocking it at all. Yeah, I'm just no, curious for, what your mind's at. No, that's. I mean, it's a good question, and it's a. Uh, you know, I would definitely like to do it, but sometimes the whole, you know, the weekend trips and whatnot, yeah. out of, you know, way out of town, like, they don't make a ton of sense for me at the moment. Fair. You know, yeah, it's like, enough. it might not be profitable for me to, you yeah, know, absolutely. drive to Houston, play two shows that I could play in Fort Worth, you know what yeah, I mean? Yeah, so, and make the same amount. Yeah, yeah. yeah. It's uh, right now, as far as, like, trying to make money off of it, you know, it makes, um, you know, more more sense economically for me to stay, you know, somewhat local. Yeah, As opposed to, you know, taking the trips. That's definitely a different uh, conversation, too, because that's uh, this game of music has that kind of weird you know, aspect to it where you want to make money, but at the same time, you want some return on your investment of playing a show. So if you go to Houston and you go play a venue where you know you're going to get 20 likes on your Facebook page like right. instantly, every time someone plays there, they get 20, 25 likes. Is that worth your drive down there to have yeah. that exposure now? Or, you know, that's social media, though. It's a it's weird a, thing. Now yeah, it's a tricky thing. And, you know, like... Uh, it's, it's kind of one of those deals, too, that it's, uh, you know, like you play somewhere locally, you're, you're going to have a pretty, you know, solid following or, you know, a pretty good amount of people show up, you know. And so when people ask me, hey, are you going to you gonna ever try to play here? Are you ever going to try here? I'm like, when I can fill up where I'm playing right now, yeah. then I'll start working on trying to fill, you know, or yeah. trying to go play somewhere a little bit bigger. Yeah. So That's true, man. So what do you do for marketing? Like what kind of things do you do on your own, I guess, uh, to spread the word about yourself? You know, I'm not that great in the whole marketing thing. You know, it's like I I, I couldn't even figure out how to share that post whenever we were getting going here. You got it. But, uh, (laughs) uh, you know, I just uh, I I do the Facebook, um, you know, Tyler Dixon music. Uh, I I do. uh, I, I, I like Twitter. Um, you yeah. know the following and uh, and everything isn't so great there. I'm not that active on it yet, but I like Twitter, so I've been fiddling around with that a lot. That's cool. You got to be active, man. That's a yeah. problem. That's why I can't do it. I cannot be on there like all day. But yeah. if you can handle it, if you dig it, it's a very very powerful uh, tool, yeah, man. Very absolutely. Cool. And I do the Instagram, and yeah. Uh, so yeah, the big three. Yeah, big three, man. Yeah, <laughs> the big yeah. three is social media. I like it, dude. Yeah, the uh, man, Twitter would be a cool one, especially if you like that, because that one is it can be now, you know, up to date, and you can do some cool stuff with, uh, um, you know, some of your some of your instant uh, content you're doing, whether it is like, hey, I'm writing a song, like what rhymes with blank, you know, something like yeah. that, something goofy, just kind of for sure, man, stuff like that can uh, can carry some weight too, and yeah, especially if you like it. I don't like it, so I don't want to be anywhere near that kind <laughs> yeah. of thing. I think Jed's on it. I don't know. No, Jed's not on Twitter anymore. He's on Snapchat. I had to delete my Snapchat app because Jed was snapping me every day. It was just getting ridiculous. Uh, I was just like, God oh, dang, the stalker yeah, dude. That's just frustrating. Snapping me. It is frustrating, you know? <laughs> I try to try to sell him. Uh, so, okay, so you do a lot of indie stuff. Tell us uh, a little bit about some uh, 
you got some recordings and stuff. Mm -hmm. Tell yeah. us a little bit about what you got and maybe what you have coming up this year. Cool. So, uh, year. yeah, I have uh, my, through the years EP is uh, my EP that's available on Spotify, iTunes, all that stuff. Um, and uh, that's what I've been. I, I, let's see. I released that in April of this year. Okay. And I've been pretty I, I was pushing it really heavy, like for three to four months or so after. And my daughter was born in August. Oh, okay. So since then, I've kind of had to slow up a little bit on the, yeah, for sure. you know, pushing it and whatnot. But and congrats, by the way. Uh, thank you. But that's uh, that's still very much out there and available. And uh, awesome. it, it's been good. It's been uh, a great way to get my foot in the door in a lot of places and, uh, you know, ha have, you know, reach new people to listen to me and whatnot. And uh, so that's been the big recording. And I hope to uh, work on recording like a radio single, maybe probably at the beginning of next year or so. Okay. And uh, trying to get that out there to maybe lay the foundation for another EP or another album or something. Sure. Like that. Where did you get your? Where did you do your first uh, EP or where did you record it? I should say. Uh, I did it at Fort Worth Sound with okay. Uh, Bart Rose. Okay. And uh, shout it, out. It, it was really awesome. Yeah. yeah. I mean, if you're, uh, it, it, you know, if you're really hesitant about going into that whole, you know, process of recording and whatnot, I mean, uh, he, he'll definitely make it a little bit easier for awesome. you. You know, he. he he helped out a lot. That's good. That's good time. to know. It's daunting if you have never been in there. It's a little, it can be nerve wracking, man. Especially yeah. when you realize, oh man, maybe I wasn't ready to blow yeah, a thousand absolutely. bucks on this recording. Yeah. So cool. That's good to know, man. Well, tell us, uh, tell us a little bit about. Do uh, you have any other big shows coming up in, in the near future we should all know about, or do you want to let anybody know about? Let's see. Uh, Eleven November sixteenth, which is a Thursday night. I'm going to be at the Freds in downtown. Okay. And uh, yeah, I definitely uh, would like to see a lot of people out there at that. Come on, Fort Worth cool. crowd, get over there. Yeah. Let's go. Fred's. The 16th? Uh, yeah, it's Thursday? November 16th. It's a Thursday, I believe. That's good. Thirsty Thursday. Let's yeah, go. Absolutely. <laughs> Let's make it happen. That's awesome, <laughs> man. Well, tell us where to find your uh, social media stuff. I know you said the website earlier, but. All right, so you got uh, facebook.com forward slash Tyler Dixon Music. Uh, the tricky thing is finding uh, it is my name, man. My last name is spelled D-I-X-S-O-N. So, X S O N. Yeah, so a lot of people are always typing in D I X O N and they're yeah. like, I can't find you, man. Ah. But it's uh, Tyler Dixon Music there uh, on, on Instagram. If you type in Tyler Dixon the correct way, you'll find me. Twitter, same thing. And then all over Spotify, iTunes, uh, Amazon, Google Play. TylerDixon.com? Yeah. Is that the website? Or, no, no website. No website. Just, uh, yeah, oh, just we gotta uh, get you a website. all social media platforms. We've got to get you a website, man. Well, man, I was doing the whole website thing, but. I was getting a lot more attention on social media than I was the website. I was thinking, what's the point of this website? I know, but it's your hub. You can push everybody there and then sell them your shirt. Yeah, that's true. Let's get you hooked up, man. I'll, we're going to make you. Jed's already making you a Wix page right now. Yeah, he he already made it. It's, yeah. Yeah, I'm if y'all could hook that up, that'd be great. <laughs> <laughs> well, Tyler, we did get uh, chatting with you. We really appreciate you coming here and doing this, man. And we're going to really appreciate your music later. Awesome. Uh, if you're going to stick around here, we're going to have a, I think we're going to do one more interview and then we're going to have some music coming on here in about seven o'clock. Get down to the ranch in Las Colinas if you're not here already. And if you are here, enjoy yourself this evening. Have some more drinks. Tyler, thanks again, man. Good chatting. Appreciate it, buddy. No problem. Someone to believe in Hand to hold When you're reaching You need to let go I miss your smile Just wish you'd do it more Baby, don't you cry Hold back those tears There'll be plenty of time for them Through the years They say the West is full of gold 
where I'll be when I get home. And up ahead, it's a long, long road. But I don't want to go alone, no. Baby, don't you cry tonight. Hold back those tears There'll be plenty of time for them Through the years Wind still blows with no trees And I feel your love like a warm breeze And I know you're waiting for me Not for that little home Baby, don't you cry Night. Hold back those tears There'll be plenty of time for them Through the years Thank you.